Running battles were the source site of Murungu landing site in Munyonyo. Yesterday, police enforcing a KCCA directive to pave out inhabitants of wetlands chased away vendors of one of Uganda's oldest fish markets. <laughs> Today, both traders and authorities had planned a meeting to pave a way forward, but the police warned against it. This led to an exchange of words between the Kampala RCC and area representatives. But even in any case, no know. development is going to take place here. And as far we as shall know, because we, we, we organized the meeting. Within 200 meters from does the water it, point. Does it relate to people who are actually only marginalized? Marginalized or yes. not? Marginalized no, 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 or not? No, no, look here, the whole road, people downwards. Are they in the 200 meters you are talking about? The other of Kanyakana. Yes. yes. Well, 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 well. I, I will be given further uh -huh. guidance. After the planned trilateral talks hit a dead end, the wiring parties headed to Bulangi Mengo to meet the Buganda Land Board, which owns the land. We have noticed and observed with the concern the plight of Kavaka's subjects who have been affected by uh, a combination, one, of uh, an order from the Environment Authority of the country and uh, KCCA, which brought to us notices of closure of that landing site. Uh, having received that, uh, we engaged the leadership of the uh, uh, traders and Munyonyo fish hawkers uh, in trying to see that uh, they are not hit by the closure the two-hour meeting between Buganda Land Board and traders' representatives resolved that the traders be moved to Sabala in Wakiso district, which is almost a kilometer away from Mulungu. However, some traders had started relocating to areas across the road where makeshift structures were being erected as they awaited news from Mengo. <laughs> Commissioner.